So, hello everybody. It is the last Sunday before Christmas, and so of course it's time to decorate the Christmas tree. Now, I know you all know how to decorate a Christmas tree, but do you know how to decorate a Christmas tree in English? Maybe you don't, so that's what I want to teach you today. I've brought some decorations and other objects with me, and we'll go through them, and I'll tell you what they're called in English. So, of course, let's start off with the tree itself. This is a Christmas tree, a fairly small but a very nice Christmas tree. And if you look in this direction, we've got our old friend Rudolph. I'm sure you know about him. There's a famous song involving Rudolph. And then I have my magic bag. So, let me take the magic bag and let's have a look what's in it. So, this is something that's traditional in Germany, but it's also traditional in Britain. It's an advent calendar full of chocolate. Most of it's been eaten. And let's get to the decoration. So, this is the most important Christmas decoration of all, a bauble, which you can put on your nose or hang on your ears, but most of all, hang it on a Christmas tree. It's a bauble, nice red bauble there. And what else have we got? We've got a special kind of bauble. This is a Christmas tree topper, because if you put it on top of the Christmas tree, we can already put that there, no we can't, because we'll have to cut off the top of the Christmas tree first, but never mind. That's a Christmas topper. Then we have this kind of shiny stuff. English Christmas trees have lots and lots of this shiny stuff. It's called tinsel in English. Tinsel, we don't have very much, but like I said, English Christmas trees are covered in it. Silver tinsel and red tinsel and golden tinsel and green tinsel as well. What else do we have? Well, here's a candle. A traditional Christmas tree would have lots of candles in it. We don't want to set fire to it, so what we'll be putting in instead are these lovely fairy lights. These are called fairy lights. And English Christmas trees always, but always, have colourful Christmas lights. Let's see what else we've got. Well, the rest we're going to have to work with pictures, because I don't actually have the things here. If we were in England, then we would have lots of things like this. These are called Christmas crackers. And what you do, one person takes this end of the cracker, and someone else takes the other end of the cracker, and you both pull and the cracker kind of explodes with a bang. And inside the cracker, there are always three different things. One of them is a paper crown or a paper hat to make you look silly. One of them is a plastic toy. And then there's usually a not very funny joke. So these are Christmas crackers. And like you can see here, there's some holly. Holly is a kind of traditional Christmassy tree in England. Holly and the holly berries. And then finally, we have something to eat. If we were in England, then on Christmas Day, and you mustn't forget Christmas Day in England is the 25th of December, not the 24th. So kids in England have to wait one day longer. You get up on the 25th as early as possible, and then you open the presents, and then you have the big meal. And at the end of the big meal, you have one of these. It's a Christmas pudding doesn't look very appetizing here, but it is delicious. It's very sweet, full of dried fruit, like raisins and sultanas and cherries and almonds as well and things like that. And of course, it's very, very full of alcohol, brandy or rum or stuff like that. And it's very delicious indeed. So what else do we have? Here we have a little manger. These are not so traditional in Britain, but because we're living in Germany, we do have one. And what can we see in the manger? Well, here's little baby Jesus and his parents. This is Mary and Joseph. And then we have some other figure, figures. Here's an angel. And then we have the three kings. Well, actually, this is Saint Nicholas, but we pretend he's one of the kings. And here we have the animals that were there when Jesus was born. So we have some 
a sheep, mummy sheep, and a baby sheep called a lamb. And the two most important animals, this is an ox, a very small and very sweet ox. And finally, a donkey, or another word for a donkey is an ass. So you often talk about the ox and the ass that were there when Jesus was born. So what else do we have? Well, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but there's some music playing. And this is a traditional English Christmas song. And these songs are called Christmas Carols. Christmas Carols. And if there's no corona, then usually kids go around from house to house and they knock at the door. And when people open the door, then they can sing their Christmas carols to the people. And it's a very nice Christmassy atmosphere in the snow. And the one playing in the background is called Gloria. I'm sure you know it. Hosanna in excelsis. Very nice song. Okay, so that was that. It's now time, of course, to decorate the tree itself. And I don't want to bore you with the hours and hours that it will probably take to decorate the tree. So what we'll do is say goodbye for now. And then maybe when the tree is ready, I can upload a little video of the beautiful, shining, Christmassy tree. I wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. Enjoy yourselves, my sweethearts. Goodbye.